Okay, so I'm back at the same client's um, house, and today I'm replacing a door. And it is a pocket door that is in very bad shape. So, and the customer wanted to have a swinging door. So to make that happen, I need to take the door out, and that involves cutting um, the uh, paint all around all the trim. And then the door will, will come out. It's an old door, so I'm thinking it's probably on a, a J-roll, J-roller. And it should just lift out. Then I'll be able to put some door stop in the middle of this. And this is going to be where it's going to open from. Uh, the room is kind of small. And normally you would want the door to open in to a room. However, it would block a heat heater if the door was open. And there's not enough room for a 32 inch door to swing. So it's going to swing outward. So, and we don't have an issue of security since it's just a bedroom. So that's removing it is uh, our first job. All right, so the next thing I need to do is to cut the, the J-Track out. I've unscrewed. Ah, I see another screw. That's part of my problem. So I will remove that screw and I'm going to cut it about right here. All right, so here I am inside the pocket. Um, some things that I've never seen before, but that doesn't mean anything. This has a, a, a metal edge here, the very edge, which I, I guess makes sense. Uh, I'm, I'm used to seeing wood, but uh, I'm going to have to remove that. The, uh, the way this wall has been plastered, there's a quarter inch piece of drywall on the inside, and then, and then the outside has about a half an inch of um, drywall on top of that. So I got some 2x4s to take a look at how they're going to fit in here. It should fit in perfectly in between the two, but I've got maybe 3 8 of an inch difference here. So that had me a little confused, but uh, yeah, top and bottom. The very top, it's not quite so bad. So uh, the wall has been kind of bowing, which I guess would make sense for an old pocket door. Now here's my jam. My jam fits perfectly in here, but, uh, but there is still that difference. Looks like a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch. So what I'm going to have to do is to remove all of this metal and I'm probably going to have to secure all these pieces of wood that are attached to the metal to the wall. I'll put some drywall screws into it and then I will take my 2x4 and I'll have to notch out every one of these pieces here fit that in. That'll take me a little bit of time. So that's going to be fun. So I'm taking this out first. Let's see how easy that comes out.
All right. All right, in order to uh, stiffen the wall, I put a piece of 2x4 all the way to the end. And in order to pull it closer together, I'm actually putting some screws into it, pulling it together so that it will form to a 2x4. I put two of them in, that's all I'm going to do. It bows the most in the middle, so that's where I have it. All right, so this is the stud that I'm going to put in the wall here. And instead of trying to cut these braces out, I'm going to, um, I will notch around them on both sides. All right, so I've notched my two by four all the way up and I attach these screws so that I can actually pull the two by four in and out without trying to fish it out with a screwdriver or something. So now I need to um, make sure that it is uh, level and plumb and at a 90 degree to the wall. I will shoot some nails into it to, um, to hold it right where it's supposed to be and when I'm done I'm going to put some screws in and try to pull the wall closer to it so that my door jam fits properly. All right, so everything was straight and plumb except for the very top. I had to do a little bit of shimming here, and that's it. So I just have to uh, cut my shims. And so I just talked to the homeowner, and he wants the door to open inward. So that's not a problem. It'll still be on this side, but it's going to open inward. The uh, my next step is to cut for hinges and I've got a very cool tool for that. I gotta find it real quick. Made quite a mess for myself here as usual. So this is a door template, hinge template for a three and a half inch hinge. It's very well designed. It has stops here. It's got a little tiny dot on or bump on the very top to give it about an eighth of an inch clearance on top. Uh, I will use a router to route these out. These are actually pins that I hammer right into the wall and I just got to make sure that my router is at the perfect depth and uh, do that. Before I do, there's a really awful patch here. I'm going to see if I can sand it down a little. This is my um, doorknob cutter. I have a two and a half inch hull saw. We'll also have a three quarter inch for the end. I don't know if you can see that poor lighting, but uh, it fits most standard doorknobs. And uh, cutting your own doorknobs makes the door cheaper and you can put it wherever you want, which is cool. So that's what I'm doing. All right, I thought I had uh, filmed the uh, the end where I put all the, the trim around it and everything, but um, my camera must have died because uh, I cannot find the footage. It's gone. And uh, so uh, I don't have pictures of the finished door, unfortunately. I will get that next time I'm there. It uh, turned out pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. Uh, Val has not been feeling well at all today, so um, she did she didn't do a good morning, and she's uh, already asleep. She's not going to do a uh, closer. So, and I'm not going to try and get Angel to howl or anything because she won't howl for me. So, um, I hope you like this. 
maybe uh, it'll inspire you to put a door in. I don't know. But uh, uh, if I film the the ending of it or the, the, the finished product, I might put it as a separate how-to video on another channel. I don't know. See how that's going to work out. But uh, it turned out well. I'm happy with it. I got it done in one day, so I actually made a profit off of it. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed any something you've seen in this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends and relatives. And don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.